Hello everyone and welcome to the next video where we'll be, well first of all renaming our flow, just notice that now, uh, but we'll also be using OneDrive to actually save the file that we're receiving through the HTTP request now to OneDrive and then as they say the proof is in the pudding then we're going to actually retrieve it from OneDrive as well and then make sure we can still use it afterwards. It's absolutely pointless to uh, write something to a file or a a database and not be able to retrieve it. So it's Im absolutely imperative that we test that. Right, so let's go and edit and first thing just rename this and so let's just call this flow file upload so we all know what we're busy with. Right, and in the previous one we've created the variable and then changed the email to actually use that variable for the attachment. So all of that's working well I think let's just start renaming these things we're going to be sending or we're going to be actually adding a few things and we might lose track so send email for directly from HTTP in other words um, this is going to generate the attachment directly from the variable so this is not going to fetch the email from any other s or the attachment from any other service um, like OneDrive or SharePoint so let's keep that there and now after it's done that, let's go and say we want to write this file to OneDrive. Right, so right at the top, create file. It's easy enough. The folder path. What is extremely important to remember about OneDrive is at the time of executing OneDrive, it executes in context of the user who's running it. So if you're going to be specifying a, specifying a file name, um, that file name is going to be created in your OneDrive. And... Uh, same is true for users going forward who do it on their own OneDrive. So let's just write that into um, root attachments temp for now. So actually select temp, sorry, always battle with that. File name for now, we're just going to hot code it. So let's call it test.png. We know it's a PNG file which is very important at this stage. At the later stage, we'll show you how to actually fetch the, the, the file extension as well as the application type. And then you can dynamically set the file name and uh, the file extension. All right, and for the file content, quite simple. Again, we're going to go and say, fetch me the variables. And now, fetch me the variable name that we used earlier, which is var attachment. Right, so save that. We no longer, we don't have to do the base64 thing again because we already did it on the variable over here, even though you can't see it. If uh, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, welcome. It, I agree with you. But just go and check the first video where we discuss that in a little bit more detail. Right, so that is create file. Let's just rename that in create file in OneDrive. Right, so there we go, that's our action name. And otherwise you have to sort of remember that those clouds represent OneDrive because we're going to be getting to SharePoint and SQL and these sort of things as well. Right, so there we've created the file. But now what if we want to retrieve it and now actually do something with it as well? Now understand that what we're doing here doesn't make sense from a, a business process perspective because we're passing it a file and then we're giving it back and sending it and saving it and retrieving it. But what I'm trying to show you is, if you had a file on OneDrive, how you would be able to retrieve it and then use it for something else. So we're combining all of these tutorials into, into one video series. Right, so if I wanted to get that file now, um, I'd go and again choose OneDrive. And now instead of creating file, we'll go and say get file content. Right, so it's going to ask me for the identifier for the file. And in order to pass the identifier to it, I need to go to the previous action which says create file on OneDrive. And that's going to give me an ID. So you'll see on the right hand side, create file on OneDrive. It's giving me an ID which is the identifier to that file. Right, so if you click on uh, see more, You'll see there might be other things here like file locators and all of these other. Th None of them are applicable. All you need to specify for this is the ID. Right, so we've passed the ID to it and just rename this as well. Get 
file of content from OneDrive. Uh, you'll also notice that we, we don't use spaces in the action names or the action titles. Um, the reason for that is that if you get into some advanced expressions, those spaces can give you nightmares. So then actually in, when you're calling those things, you have to replace the spaces with underscores uh, for some boring technical reasons. But just we, we prefer then to just use um, words or names that don't have any spaces in them. Right, so there we got the file. But in order to prove to you that it's actually in a working condition, let's email it to us as well. So let's go and say send an email and send it to myself. And the subject, what did we make the subject previously? It was t test attachment HTTP. So let's call this test attachment and OneDrive. So let's just use the same for the body. And now when we get to the attachments, again, we're going to call it PNG. So we know what the file name is for now. And when we now get to the attachment content, we don't use the variable anymore because we actually want to prove how it's getting the content from OneDrive now. So then you can simply go and say get file content from OneDrive, see more, and you dump the file content in there. This is also why it's important to name these actions correctly. Otherwise, you would end up with get file five times and then you don't know which one you're referring to. Is it now OneDrive or SharePoint or SQL? You know, what is it that you're busy with? So, right, let's go and test this. Um, if I save that, hoping for zero errors. And that is true. So it's saved nicely. Let's go out of it. And let's go to our friend Postman again. And we're now ready to send it again. So let's send it from Postman. Let's uh, refresh the screen on Flow. Ran five seconds ago. Let's go and have a look at that team fold in OneDrive. And there she is. So open it up. It is looking good. Right, so we were able to write it to OneDrive, but now we're also expecting two emails. One from HTTP, and there we go, it's looking good, and one from OneDrive. So the second email, this is where it actually went and sourced the attachment from OneDrive and then attached it into the second email. Alright, so all of that is looking good. I'm very happy with uh, the way that this flow is coming together. It's also quite an, and fast and responsive. Again, absolutely hats off Microsoft. This is some awesome tools and toys. Thank you so much. And uh, so join us for the next video. We will be doing the same into a SharePoint library, uh, which is very similar, but I think it's important to, to do it as well. And then, uh, then we'll start getting into SQL and the like. So thank you very much for joining us, and uh, please join us in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.